we are back to Dark Souls 2 is called the percent Souls Marathon I believe we cleared some parts of the game we killed Dark Lurker that's for sure I do remember that clearly I do actually that's it I don't remember anything else <laughs> uh, bad memory some people might say bad memory and I will incline to, to say that uh, right bad memory but other than that, let's just uh, continue onward to, uh, I don't know, maybe finish the first DLC, because why not? Yeah, let's do that for today. Finish the first DLC and, uh, oh, actually, I have to go fight uh, Chrome Watcher and Defender. Right, no, 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 we don't have to, we don't have to do that. Well, I hope I'm in, the, in Dranley Castle, because I haven't actually... No. Okay, uh, sure. I'm pretty sure I got the... I got the soul of the king. Well, let me see if I do have the soul of the king. Ivory king, rotten... Soul of the king. Yeah, alright, we have soul of the king. And we do have the king's ring. Yes, we do. Alright. Now we're just missing the crown that we will never... Yeah, because why should be? <sighs> now, next sort of business is we're gonna have to go and kill the dragon. Right, that's actually way better. I'll just keep killing the dragon. <clears throat> Sorry, I just uh, ate lunch. That seems like a better, better deal. So we're gonna kill the dragon or, or kill it, um, clear drag um, dragonary, and I'll just keep. And then. We're gonna see how much time we have. If, you know, I plan on streaming for an hour or so, so if we have time, I will go to the first DLC and maybe do something, like progress it to a certain extent. Maybe get to the second bonfire. But other than that, that will be for today. I do plan on streaming tonight at midnight. Um, I don't know if I will have the fortune to do it, but, well, I hope I do. I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't know. I also have more videos that I uh, of, of the let's play that I'm doing. I do have to upload that. I'm preparing slowly for when I do have to go to college and uh, basically have to upload from my laptop. And I want to have it as as much episodes as possible because once you know I'm only two days at home, I'm not gonna have enough time to actually you know record videos. I'm not gonna have it. Just, it's just a simple fact. So, for that reason alone, I'm uh, preparing more and more. Also, if you're wondering, I don't think I, exp I, think I explained it, but basically, I'll explain again. If you're wondering why the videos are only 10 minutes long, it's because of upload speed. Here is that. I don't want to spend uh, a whole day up on one video. You might be saying, oh, well, you know, boo hoo, you should. Some people are not watch just videos. I think people will complain, especially if there's nothing, you know, happening in the video. I don't think many people will complain about it. But I don't know. So Everything is going fine. Except that. I'm dead. Yep. Yep. Oh, you might say, well, why not use the light gems? I just. It's too slow. <laughs> just too slow. I wish they were faster. But no, they're very slow. And of course, me drinking Estus is also criminally slow. So, uh, yeah. 
Oh well. Let's try that. I don't mind dying to a gang boss because the gang boss is not fair fight. I usually win. That's good. The only problem is when I don't. <laughs> then becomes then becomes annoyance. Also, human. You have so many humanities. It's insane. There'd be no reason not to go human every time. I'd say that's a waste. That's just well, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We will see. We will see. Hmm. Oh well. Here we are again. Let's uh, indulge ourselves. Yes. I want to concentrate on this guy first. Why? This is faster. I want the front watcher to remove the shield. Fun fact, front defender is one of the best shields in the game. One of the best shields. I think king shield might be better, could be wrong. But for medium shield it's the best. Good. Watcher keeps his shield. Shit. There we go. <sighs> well, all right. That that went well. Bonfire, and uh, now we go to this keep. I don't think I spent any. Life chance, let's see if I did. No. Oh, that's the dealt with. I'll just keep. Mm. I'm not missing any bosses, no. I'll just keep, then we have to go to. kill the. the dragon. Oh, shit. The guardian drake. Then kill the giant drake. And then we can go deal with the DLCs, which, as you might imagine, I do plan on doing. Thank you very much. And uh, as I've said, we're gonna see how long it takes us. It will, it will determine how much I will progress in new game in a uh, DLC. The whole Adia and Dragon Adia Skip and Dragon Lake, uh, Dragon Red, Dragon Neri. We're gonna do that. That we do that. Uh, Right now, tonight, you know, it's gonna be the first DLC. If I stream, which I hope I do, honestly. but if I don't, well, probably some private matter came up. I also do plan on let's play tonight, so you know, it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep even. <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting. I hope I do. But oh well, we will see. We're not that. We're still, you know, far away from finishing the the let's play of the Imperator Realm, and it's only the first one, so I do plan on having more and more. And of course, there will be a new let's play every time I uh, every time a new DLC comes out. That's uh, relatively important. So 
just some texture packs and some stuff like that. Damn here. But uh, uh Mr. Happy! Welcome! Don't worry, I appreciate you stopping by and I wish it's not a, a very serious appointment. I hope it's a nice one. Or a one that can bring nice things. Yes. Good luck, I guess, on whatever you're doing. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna go with sorceries or pyromancers against the Drake because we all know Drakes are just immune to fire, no they're not. But I don't wanna Oh it's a routine checkup. Well I hope it's all fine. I hope they don't see anything. If it's a medical one. I hope everything is okay. Am I going to talk to the madman? No. No, we're not gonna... We're not gonna talk to the madman for a simple reason is that... We don't need him. It's done. It's finished. Oh, 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 Hold up, son. That's the wrong path. Nah. You're just gonna tell me I'm fat and I'm gonna leave. Listen. As long as you don't have any problems. A little bit of fat. It's not a problem. It's a show of good life. At least that's how, that's how it was in, uh, in like the Middle Ages in the 17th, 18th century. That was the the, the, the factor of wealth. Now you might interpret that different. Like either the world was, you know, very poor, and only the rich were, could afford food, could be fat, or. Uh, no, that, that, no, no, that's only one invitation. Yeah. But yeah, that was a, basically being fat was a sign of, oh, I have money. I can afford to eat three meals. Which was rare, of course, but at the same time, um, being too fat is also a problem. Being tall is also a problem, if you believe it or not. Yeah, but living into 40 was also a sign of good life. Exactly! <laughs> exactly! Living to 40, oh man! Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I want to say? Yeah, I think I talked about this before, maybe I didn't, but being, being very tall is not the greatest of things for your health, actually. For example, for me, I have actually a big heart. And it, because of its size, it kind of, you know, it's a little bit slower on the whole TikToks, uh, you know, front. So yeah, um, it's not that nice knowing that you have a possibly slower heart because of your size. Not nice. Also, being tall is something I wouldn't know about. You know, five eight. Five eight is completely fine. 5'8 is completely fucking fine. Like, for fuck's sake, my whole generation is. is like averages 168 to 175. I'm above, I'm, I'm 187. But my whole generation, like 90%, is fucking shorter than me by 20 centimeters or 10 centimeters. And they start talking about height. Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! Most girls, even to this day, that are my generation, are fucking to my uh, to my waist. Well, not to my waist. That's that's stupid. But like uh, here, my ribs. I'm not joking. It, it's actually true. It's insanity. At the same time, it's good. You know, the averages are on your side. Me, I'm uncomfortable when I'm sitting in a bus. Because the average, uh, it's designed to be for 170, I think, or 165 average height. And uh, I'm just uncomfortable. Car uh, car sizes, also averages. Uh, car seats, also average. Everything is for average and it's usually on the lower side. So tall people do not have it much comfortable when it comes to all comfort of life. 
this chair that I'm sitting at is very uncomfortable because it stops at my back. Like it, it stops here. That is like uh, almost three. I think it's like five or se five or seven, maybe eight centimeters in uh, missing to reach to my hip, to my uh, neck. Once that's perfectly. That's perfect. One seventy is perfect. I don't. I don't understand the people's mentality of oh no you have you gotta be you know 180 192 meters no no it's not fucking nice it's not fucking nice when you walk down the street and you fear that you're gonna hit your head on a fucking branch it's not nice every time I walk down the stairs I'm afraid I'm gonna hit my head at the fucking ceiling because it's not designed you know it's designed on the average on 170 not on fucking 180 plus. I have to wash my head every time. Yes, it's cool. You know, I do the classical, stereotypical shit of touching the ceiling for some fucking reason whenever I want. I can do it, of course. But, you know, it's fun to a certain degree. Then it becomes stupid. And then you find out there's heart problem. That, uh, not heart problem, sorry. There's health problems with being tall. And it's like, well, fuck me. Um, great. Now, of course, it's nothing too serious. Luckily. For me, it's uh, my heart. I had a friend who's taller than me, who also had uh, organs larger for his body, so there's that. And it's like, well, damn, uh, you know, being tall is awesome. It's just that you might, you might suffer some consequences for your, you know, genetic lottery. Because that's what height is. Height is genetic lottery, nothing else. Either you win it or you lose it. Because I'm tall just because uh, my father was tall. He's tall. That's it. I don't, I don't, I don't play basketball and like no. I'm tall just because of genetics. That's it. I, I guess I won the lottery. <laughs> so yeah, I mean. <sighs> height. Uh, above above 165 is overrated, I think. It just is. It, 165 is fine. There's nothing wrong with 165. But no, everybody wants to be 190 over the Everybody. You don't understand, you gotta be tall, man. You just gotta be tall. Now, you might be expecting me to actually talk about, you know, the dating scene and women, Western women primarily, because in Serbia that's actually quite, uh, not that of a predicament, but in, uh, in the Western world, it's more, more precisely America, height is a, uh, height is kind of a big deal, and, uh, well, for the dating side, for dating uh, side of things. And uh, I think that's very disrespectful when you ask someone how tall they are. First and foremost, if you're fucking, if you, you know, you are like what? I'm talking about girls. It's like what? One, uh, let's say they're 160 or 155, and you want to find someone who's fucking two meters. That's the, that's now a question of what the fuck is wrong with you. And that's where. That's where the dick jokes come in, like she's tall enough to suck his dick and she doesn't even have to kneel. That that's where the jokes come in, because like what the fuck? That's too much of a high difference. And it is! It is fucking is too much of a high difference. I don't want I I don't want to date a girl who's 155. You crazy? But then comes the argument of well, a girl what if the girl is 170 and she doesn't want to date a guy who's 160 because she doesn't want to kneel down to to you know lean down to kiss. Well, I don't wanna fucking lean down then. Now, now I'm a fucking asshole for saying that, but she's okay, and that's what you know. That's what kind of like the problem there is. Like, like really, really, you know, you're gonna start now judge people by height. Come on, I can understand judging people by weight because you can you can affect your weight. You can lose weight. I can understand that. You know, some people just don't like it. Fair enough. But the the height thing, I just it's stupid. It's stupid. it's stupid that that's your only predicament. It's like, oh yeah, I just don't want to be, you know. 
I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to date two short, you know, short people. And it's like, well, okay, uh, is 160 short? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's average. I don't want to Google that, but I think it's around 200 centimeters. Yes, uh, yeah, six feet, six five. That's around, that's around two meters. I find it hard to find the motivation to lose weight. That is also true. Many people think like, oh, you should lose weight because you know you can find girls and all that, and you know people will, will find you more attractive and all that shit, and you know it goes and on, goes around, goes along. The same argument can be said why women wear makeup and all that, and you know why people make fun of women making make you know wearing makeup because you know it's like saying they have two faces, which it literally is. They're putting a new face on. They're hiding their age. Now my people will say that's disrespectful to us on their age. No, it fucking isn't. Excuse me, if we weren't gonna be together, I wanna know your fucking age. It's not fucking disrespectful, it's knowledge. I wanna know. If you're gonna be with someone, you 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 should know basic facts. Not be like, oh, you know, a lady should never be asked. Man, fuck that shit. You're not gonna tell me, you, should, you better not even start dating in the first place. I don't give a fuck. I might be saying that's harsh. You might, you know, many, many will not appreciate that stance. But you have to have some fucking... Uh, some uh, uh, I don't know, standard of age. Yes, you should have that. You should. I, I'm of the opinion that you should not date anyone who is younger, older, uh, older, uh, like five years difference. I think so. It just should. Okay, good. Whew. I you just should you need to have some kind of fucking uh, standards on the age aspect of it. Now of course that's more personal thing. I I just think it's creepy when a girl is like fucking nineteen and the guy's thirty. That's just fucking creepy. I'm sorry. I know she's of legal age. I know it's just fucking creepy, and don't mind me calling you a fucking pedophile for that. Now, of course, he's not, but I'm sorry. There's an 11 year difference. That's not good. And of course, same goes for women. Like, don't, you know, if he, if he is 19 and she's like 30, no. No. Same, same aspect. I'm gonna call you a fucking pedophile either way. Even though you're not, and I understand the legal definition of it. I understand, I'm it. don't worry about it. I understand. I'm so fucking mad that Serbia doesn't have an actual registry for that. But it's just that come on. Come on. That's that's a almost a generation difference. Come. On. And then you might say that, well what about girls who are like 20 something and they go and they, you know marry six year old girl uh, six year old guys? Uh, they're gold diggers. Excuse me. Everybody in the fucking world knows they're gold diggers. That's it. You might say, well, what if, you know? No, no, no. They, they always have something. Don't, you know, don't think like, oh, you know, well, but, well he's not, he has something. Um, trust me. Maybe I'm too cynical. I don't know. No, no, I'm not, actually. No, I'm not. Uh, I, okay. That's why there's a there's a, a seven uh, rules here, seven years rule. Yes, somebody says se I don't I'm I'm not paying attention. Some say seven, some say eight. I say you know five when it comes to you know both being uh, mature, both being eighteen. Five years rule of difference is fine. It's fine. Now if you're talking if someone is fucking sixteen and and the other person is nineteen, no fuck that shit. He's a pedophile immediately. Might say makes no sense. I don't care. Maybe I'm being too protective. I don't care. For fuck's sake. No. No. It's just that's just madness. And you just you can say, oh, it's not too bad. You know, in some countries the legal age is fucking 14. That's horrible. That's madness too. Like what the fuck? You, you think that's okay? No, it's not fucking okay. I died too. Sh wow, I get too shotted by him. Amazing. That's not fucking okay. That's madness. It's insanity. And people act like it's fine because the legals. 
listen, not every law is perfect or is actual san you know, sane. That's why every fucking time laws should be revisited. I would argue every year. Because laws that were okay a year ago doesn't mean they're okay now. And there's proof in history. But, you know, people don't like change. People, people want more stability. People want the stability. People want the status quo. So what if my daughter dates a 30 year old and she's 14? So what? I'm not gonna think about it. Why should I? Yes, I know, I knew some girls in my middle school that were like 8th grade and they were bragging with being with 30 year olds. I was just standing there like, your parents must not know, right? Because when I think about that, my thought is I'm gonna kill that person. If they ever fucking come close to my child, I'm killing them. That's my, that's, that's, that's my, that's my rhetoric here. I might say that's cruel. No, it's not cruel. It's not. I'm sorry, it's not. It's madness to allow it. It's madness to be complacent. It's madness to ignore it. That is all madness. You might say it's too harsh, but it fucking isn't. It's proper conduct. Whoa, really? Really? Just because I didn't kill that guy? Really? I guess I'm just a product of my environment. But then becomes the question of aren't we all? Aren't we just a reaction of society around us that builds us as people? We are. And we all pretend we have higher virtues. We all pretend we have the, hi the higher moral ground. And the reality is when something is okay in one society, it doesn't mean it's okay in the other. And then who is to say what's okay in what society? And what isn't? That comes down to personal question. That becomes an individual. Am I okay with it? Am I okay? Is this alright? Many people will argue. Um, for example, I am all for a death sentence. I am. I am of the opinion that when somebody murdered someone in cold blood, they don't deserve to live. You you lost you lost the quote unquote humanity that we all have. You lost it. Just you don't deserve to live. And, but no, you, you know, murderers are put in prison for the people to sustain because guess what, you know, that mass murder, that murder, yeah, you, he lives off of your fucking money, you know, because the prison has to, you know, prison has to keep them, feed them, you know, all of that shit, yes, you know, it's a life sentence, yes, we now put more precedence on society than life, apparently society is more valuable than life itself, even though the equilibrium is not set, I might be saying, isn't that the whole eye for an eye, it is. Because fuck that virtue bullshit. It is eye for an eye, literally. People don't forget that kind of shit. If people lose someone, they will not forget that. So yeah. I think it's stupid that uh, that there isn't a death sentence for murderers. I think that's, that's, that's complete and utter stupidity on the justice system. Because, to be honest, I think murderers should be put in prison for the rest of... No! No, I'm not gonna. Uh, okay, so it comes down to then uh, into three groups. There are people who believe that people should be just put in prison and all that. Fine, believe that. There are people who believe that they should be, you know, they should be killed. They should be uh, have a death sentence for you know money reasons, you know, economy. Why should you maintain? someone's life who took another person's life you shouldn't do that it's actually lunacy uh, you're you're need, you know you're a maniac if you think that's okay and you are i'm sorry you might think no you're not you are that's just stupidity why would i pay someone who killed someone you know no but there are people who just for moral reasons you know he killed someone he should be killed as simple as that they don't suffer mr happy 
They don't fucking suffer. Yes, they're missing society. So what? They're alive. And you might say, well, some people repent. It's the fucking late. It's the fucking late for repentance. The fuck does that mean? You took someone's life. Great, good job. You now repent yourself. While yet, someone's brother, someone's sister, someone's husband, someone's wife is gone. And will never be back. But you repent yourself. You might say, well, isn't that the same thing? No, it isn't. That's where the equilibrium comes. That's where it comes when you say, you know what? Yeah, well, at least they're dead too. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that. But then comes the question of, well, who are you to decide? I'm me. And I decide for myself what I think is just. Not prison for those kind of people. Murder. Death. Execution of any kind. From from hanging to bullet to the head. Doesn't fucking matter. Just not torture. That's just... That's even worse. What are you trying to point? You know what? We should torture by... No. No, we just... Make it There's no need for some kind of sadistic shit here. We're not... You know... We're not doing it here for pleasure, we're just punishing someone who deserves punishment of equal measure. They just sit in a solitary command with criminals a day for the rest of their life. They're still alive. Why are they still alive? That's the question. Why why does a murderer deserve to live? In some people's eyes they do. Not in mine. Now of course, if you robbed someone, that's a different story. Then prison is completely fine. You should you should be punished for that kind of crime. It's just robbery, they didn't kill someone. But yeah, death should be punished by death. Simple as that. You might call it barbaric, I call it effective. It's effective for everyone. Prisons stay small, people have to pay less tax, you know, less money has to go to prison uh, maintenance. Less food is being spent in prisons. Why not? Because. And I will, I will ask something. If we start to put day, um, years in humans' life, for example, you heard stories of a murderer killing someone and then just gets 5, 10, 15, 20 years. That's first of all a sign of corruption. But at the same time, that means that the person who got killed, their life was worth 5 years, 10 years. You might think, well, life in prison? No. I mean, that means they're not equal because the person that killed them still breathes. They're still not equal. The person who killed someone is more equal or has more rights to live than the one whose life he took. There's no equality there. It's not, it's not equal. It's not equal. It's just not. They'd be saying they're suffering for perfect because humans are social creatures and we're not. They start to shut down. Still, no. Murder. You know, execution. Simple as that. Death sentence and we're done with it. I understand also the whole talk about, you know, humans are social creatures and all of that, but... Still. I might be saying it's horrible what I'm talking about, but it's not. You might then say, well, how is it not? Well, it's again, all perspective. I can understand if people say, you know, life in prison is enough. Well, I say it's not, it's, you know, it's not enough. People should not be forced to pay for murderers to live, even though they're in confinement. They shouldn't. Government should not maintain lives of murderers. They just shouldn't. Thieves? Sure. After all, who knows why they stole? It's either from monetary gain or simple fact that they have nothing to eat. And they're pissed poor. But murder, murder is a different story. Uh, the dragon is in a very bad position. I cannot... Okay, that's better. Also, 800 damage. Damn. So yeah, that's my opinion on the whole uh, debate of 
should the death sentence exist. We're doing good. What's your mind? Okay, I'm gonna read that, uh, Miss Happy. Let me just first kill this dragon and uh, Drake, and then I will. I will tell you. I will uh, answer your question. Oh! Shit. Ah, I made it. I made it. Life is good. To a certain degree. Life is good. I must say, it's gonna be a very funny situation if I run out of my spells. Because. It looks like I might. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny. What's my opinion on Epic? Not the store and not the game that shall not be named, but the company in general. Uh, nothing. What is there? Let me let me ask you something now, Miss ha uh, Miss Happy. What can you tell me about Epic before the game, before the store? What could anyone tell us about Epic? Nothing. Epic was nothing. They were still developing an Unreal game that I tried to play, but unfortunately uh, my PC then wasn't that strong. I tried. Oh, I tried. It just wouldn't do.
there's nothing to say about that man. before like before two or three years ago no one can tell you anything about that yes they made the unreal engine all right and there you go what i'm trying to say is they got lucky and that's good luck is a very powerful thing and if you catch it at the right time you become almost unstoppable case in point epic what about Aragon and Christopher Paolini? Uh, I, we talked about Aragon and I like it a lot but I just don't have means to read the rest of the books so I can't much say about Aragon I know I can just say that the first book is amazing that I love it and I don't know how the second and the third you know how many books there are left uh, are you know pace wise oh all right the issue God, yeah, it's. I understand this happy. Don't worry about it. I'm in almost the same predicament as you when it comes to remembering things. Don't worry about it. I uh, we talk about so many things that for once in my life I don't know. I can't think of anything to say. Eh. I don't think it's a much of a surprise to people who do watch my videos that I like to talk about anything because there's nothing wrong with talking. So yeah, I don't mind. I don't, you know, I like talking. It's just that I don't like when somebody is trying to, you know instigate a talk and then acts like you know oh no no just you know do, do you know do your thing no there's a reason why i talk a lot when there's no one there in the chat the reason is because it first of all makes one interest still makes of a piece of video on youtube because every stream is going to youtube and i don't want to be an hour and something just play in silence the second thing is yeah. Second thing is, there was a, there was one person who wanted to talk, like a Discord and everything, that I just didn't know, and I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like first of all to have people, you know, team chat and all that on stream if I don't know them for simple reasons. If you don't know what if you can't understand what the reasons are, well I'm sorry, I'm not gonna explain it. Because I don't someone's kinda of time. But primarily one of them is just security. It is after all my stream. And if I don't know you, I don't know what you can say or what you can do. There you go. Um what's there? If I do know you, then I don't mind it. Case in point is Doom. You know, me and Doom, we met through him watching my videos, and he contacted me on Discord. No, you know, no invitation, nothing. We just like, you know, want to talk. I was like, yeah, sure. And from that point onward, we got to know each other, and we started, you know, streaming together, or at the same time, I should say, we were both on each other's Discords. There was no problem in that because we knew each other. And Mr. Happy, if at any point you wanted. You know, to be on Discord and we can talk, I would have no problem with that. I just don't want to have, you know, complete strangers that have no fucking idea who you are. All of a sudden, wants to talk to me on Discord and be live on stream. No, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm personally not comfortable with that. <laughs> First and foremost. 
It's because I have no idea who you are. Yeah, I like people I feel mainly because I can relate uh, to giving their two cents and everything. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so the heavy solero is doing its heavy duty, we shall say. Also, it's kind of funny them uh, walking through the tail. It's, uh, it's truly fascinating. That my power is so large, I can walk through solid matter. Uh. My dad doesn't like that about me. Ah, fuck that shit. People should have an opinion, and people usually do have an opinion. It's either out of respect, or out of uh, not wanting to draw attention, they stay quiet about things. And that is completely fine. Some people just don't want the attention. They might have good ideas, they just don't want to have the attention drawn. And that's fine. But to stop someone from talking who wants to talk, it's just stupid. I mean, the person wants to talk, they might be talk. I'm just saying, well, what if they start spewing some very bullshit shit? Well, then it's uh, on you as a person, you know, who we're having a conversation with, to say to them, excuse me, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Basically. And let them know that you're not comfortable with the conversation. You don't have to consent to everything. I can understand because I had that experience where I was talking to someone and they were like, we were talking and I take it somewhere, like either for politics or something like that, and they don't want to talk about it. And it's like, you know what, let's just not talk about it. I'm like, yeah, sure. You just have to make, you know, make sure that you just don't want to talk about something and out of respect, you would stop. Now, if you have no respect for the person, that's a different story. But if you respect the person, you would stop. Am I seriously gonna die again because of RNG? Oh uh, yeah, quite possible. Oh, I'm not dead yet. It's not, it's not good to talk about merits of conversation while you're killing a boss that has like 20,000 HP. Up! We're done, we're done, we're done. If you don't kill him now, I'm gonna... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Collision physics, yeah, yeah. Hit bosses. Alright, that was a, a hairy fight. But, some good news. We can go and do the first deals, uh, the first DLC, because we have like 20 minutes left for today's uh, or this evening's planned stream. Because I do plan, and hopefully I will be able to stream uh, tonight at midnight. Hopefully I will for probably another hour or so. Because I also play on Let's Playing, uh, continuing the Let's Play. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm being busy actually, and it's refreshingly nice. It's a really nice feeling knowing that, you know, I'm working for, you know, the making videos and all that. I might say, you know, you just record and doesn't mean you're working. Yeah, fair enough. Some people consider editing to be more work, which is fine. Miracle builds. Oh, we did that. We did the miracle build. And, I've, and you were there too, so I don't know why someone lost my miracle build. No, fireball, fire orbs, yes. Grand Fire Orb, or Grand Fire Orb, I should say. Yeah, it's great. I know it's great. I, call, I like calling it Grand. Why? I, it doesn't matter why. I like to call it Grand. No, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. Wrong one. There you go. Oh, oh, I, yeah, yeah, okay. 
Haha! <laughs> I forgot about the Chaos Fireball. Wow, that's on me. I'm sorry. Wait. Damn it. The first thing is melee. There we go. Now ranged. Uh, have you heard of NDM uh, the Kuro? DM the Kuro. I have no idea who that is. I can Google it, but I have no fucking idea. If it's a writer, I'm not really good with writers because I, I I'm not much of a book person. I can appreciate books, of course. I just not that big on the whole book spectrum or reading. Uh, all right, that's cleared up. We killed the uh, the Guardian Drake. All right, yeah, let's go to Black Gulch and let's um, let's go do that. But I'm doing that. Let's see who. The end of Koro. Uh, oh, so he is a. Uh... Okay, first of all, is the he or a she? Because the photo here I have is a pixelite face, and it's anime, so you do real. You know, in anime, it's hard to tell if someone is a, is a girl or a boy. True story. It is hard. In anime, it just depends on the on the drawings, hair, mannerism. It's you know. Okay, it's a he. He's a writer, but not the kind of writer you're thinking of. Uh. Cool. I mean, I don't know what kind of we talk. So, like fan, a fan fiction writer, a fan story writer. You know, just random stories. Because if he's not a classical writer, aka he doesn't write you know novels and all that shit, which is fine. Doesn't mean you have to, you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to write novels to be a writer. That would be stupidity. So you can write a fucking letter and be a writer. That's music. Oh, he's a composer. Oh. Oh, okay. But that's not that's not a writer. That's a composer. It's two different things. <laughs> that's two different things, Mr. Happy. <laughs> I'm joking. That's that, you know, it's nothing like that. I also, you know, sometimes I also mistake some uh, functions. Primarily because I forget the word for it, and I'm like, you know, that thing, I don't know how to explain it, but it's that thing. <laughs> well, shit, if you can't explain, how am I supposed to know what you mean? I don't know. Let's just stop the conversation. I don't know what, to, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Let's actually see how much damage we do. Music artist, music writer, composer, same difference. Uh, well, okay. Uh, can we just acknowledge the fact that music writers sound stupid as a as a meaning to describe someone who makes melodies or makes music? Now, songwriter on the other hand makes perfect sense. That's someone who writes the lyrics. Um, it just sounds stupid to say music writer. In my opinion, of course, it's my opinion. Other people might think it's completely fine. Fair enough. My opinion just sounds like stupid. When you have the word composer for it, doesn't need the whole music writer. Music writer, but it's fine enough. Uh, it's the whole no. Well, it's not the whole tomato tomato thing because it's it's a different uh, writing but the same pronunciation. This is just different uh, words for the same job. Basically, the English fucking language. But uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I mean, for a fire orb, it's not, it's not bad. He's also uh, got a couple of songs with lyrics, which also makes him a lyricist. Exactly, that does make him a lyricist. That you're completely right. Wasting fireballs of fucking uh, architecture is just amazing. <gasps> Only a hundred damage?
I'm I'm greatly disappointed. Not even a hundred. Why must life be so confounded? Shame. I recommend listening to his eulogy for the ego. It's a nice piano piece. Yeah, I, I like piano pieces. They're, they can be uh, very relaxing and sometimes very roaring. Uh, I don't know if you heard the theme of Silent Hill, uh, Silent Hill 2. It's amazing. I, I love it. I hate horror games. I don't hate them, I just don't like playing them because horror. But that, that song. Oh man. Or even better, you know, actually equally good. Uh, the theme for Elf from uh, from Death Note. Death Note. Oh, the piano on it. It's just next level. I just... Oh. When, you, when you hear it, it's su it creates such a... What the fuck? It creates such a suspense. It keeps you engaged to listen to it. It's amazing. I love it. Well, okay, maybe not that song. Maybe that song is not relaxing, but piano pieces usually are relaxing. Depends, of course, again, on the melody itself. Damn it, Mr. Happy, you're trying to talk about something. You're here talking about... It. I know that maybe the the thing that he uh, created might not be, you know, relaxing. And that's fine. I'm just talking about a, a piece that I found relaxing. That was really, really good also. Well, that's good. I don't mind browsing you. Ah, yes. Shields. They give you 360 protection. Makes perfect sense if you ask me. You know, I'm spawning in an exploding ball between the shield and the body. And the shield shall protect it. Yeah, okay, fuck this life. Um. Really? Now you might say, really? Really? The fuck? Thank you for the host, Mr. Happy. Uh, really? Forbidden son? For him? I got mad. With power? <laughs> I do have a son. In my hands, and you dare defy me. Wait, is it fair to say I hold the sun in my hands, and you dare defy me? Remember that? I don't know how many people of you watched Full Metal Alchemist, the best anime ever made. Uh, when uh, the father holds, you know, he absorbs the Philosopher Stone, that shit, and then he creates a sun in his uh, in his hands. That has to be the most badass show of power. In any anime ever, when you when you created a sun, <laughs> a, a celestial being made of pure radiation, and you're like and, ki and kinetic energy, and you're like, yep, I'm I created it. It's in my palm. That's just. It's one thing to to you know make the sun come down to earth. It's another to create a sun. Such a badass scene, you know. It's like oh, you know, I have I have powers of a, of a god now. I can now create things, which you know in the universe that Full Metal Alchemist is in, well, that's different. They don't call it god. They call it truth, which is more poetic, if you ask me. It makes it seem like you know. Um, 
everything you eat, in, oh, uh, maybe you know the real life is uh, false or just a false image, while you know the truth held basically everything in the band. You know, do you answers for the biggest questions in the universe? But it's also a complicated thing. It just also you know you know it's also the thing where it's possible to basically absorb the truth. Which what I'm sorry, Father absorbed truth. He did not absorb a philosopher's stone. He already had a philosopher's stone in his. But it's a cautionary tale of trusting too much in science or trusting too much in religion, and that truth often is too much for humans to bear. And it's that is correct. Most people. Many people would say, you know, truth is better than lies. But those people would rather accept a lie than go with the truth. Because 9 times out of 10, truth is ugly. Truth is an ugly thing. And you will not be okay with it unless you fucking accept it. Accept your situation and you have to work with it. When you're able to, you know, accept your situation and work with it, you can progress in your life. Until then, or improve the situation where you're in. But until then, you know, it's like, well, I'm just uh, lying myself. Because it's, you know, it's easier to lie. Plus, it's easier to, f to make the lie basically favorable. While truth cannot be denied in any way, shape, or form. But... And this is also very interesting actually that I have to talk about. You can fabricate truth as you can fabricate a lie. And I'd be saying, how is that possible? Well, easy. Grab a picture of anyone. Anyone, any kind of person, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just grab a picture of that and show it to a complete stranger. Who doesn't know you, doesn't know anything about you, and tell them, hey, this is my granduncle. They will believe you. Because you just because they have no other proof that, that is not what you're saying it is. Meaning you at the same time created truth and created a lie. It's truth for the person who believes you, but it's a lie to yourself for your lying to someone. You fabricated something. At the same time, a truth and a lie. Now I'm saying, isn't that you know kind of the same thing? Well, no, it isn't. Because for you, it's easy to lie about it. Well, easy depends on how you do it. But for the other person, you know, it's easy to believe. But then, if you lie to someone too many times, they just become cynical, and then it's like, well, you know, shit, <laughs> shit. Now it's you know every now they look at everything with a cynical viewpoint. It's a whole story about shame, you know, like, uh, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. That kind of story. Yeah. Which is also kind of funny that if you say something and there is not enough proof to show that your claim is a lie. Then you, you know, you just created something. It's it's to that power of the, of tr of trust that you can create a person out of thin air. And if you know your lie is good enough, you, you can fabricate a person out of thin air, and no one will question it because why should they? You you know, you have the proof, you have the the ID, you, you have all that. So why should someone question it and be like? Huh. I don't think that's true. And even the most cynical person, if you you know, if you create a good enough lie, will believe it. That's just a fact. They will never trust the person who lied to them in the first place. But if a complete stranger shows a, you know a strong enough lie, they believe it. Because what's what tells them to not believe it? You know, what part of, what, you know, there will be assholes that they say, oh, you're lying, when they have never met the person. But at the same time, it's a way, you know, it just shows that 
it's completely easy to pull a human being. Incredibly easy. Almost criminal. And you have to wonder, well, why is that? Why are humans so easy to, to pull around? You might say, well, it might be the collective thing. That we need to trust each other to survive. And if there is no trust, then our survival is also very minimal. Our chances are minimal. And you can argue that that's, why, that's uh, the reason why paranoia is a bad thing. It removes trust from people. But then it becomes the aspect of, well, why is someone paranoid? Why is someone reluctant to trust someone else? Is it a thing that happened before? Is it because of something like that? Or is it because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, from birth? My primary example, which I am a person who, I have someone that I, never, that I can never trust completely ever again, is my, uh, my uncle. He, he was a very big liar when, uh, when I was young, and he lied to me all the time. It was to that degree that to this day, I cannot trust him completely when he tells me something. I just can't, because you, you basically lied so much that now you cannot be trusted as a person. I cannot trust you with almost anything. Like, I don't think there is a, I don't think I have an actual limit on what I would trust. It's that insane how damaged the relationship is in that aspect that I just, you know, I just can't. I might be saying, well, isn't that, you know, very wrong to lie to someone? Well, first and foremost, you have to, if, if we say that's very, very wrong, and we have to accept the fact that lying to children about Santa Claus and the fucking rabbit is also wrong. And they sh you know, everyone should be ashamed for that. But if you think it's okay to lie about Santa Claus and to lie about the rabbit, then uh, you have no right to talk. You have no right. Because you're complacent, you're lying to a child. And that lie can make some children just basically not trust anyone. Depends on how much they believe in the thing that you that you lie lying about. It's such a complicated matter that it's insane. We can probably spend hours and hours talking, we, we could spend hours and hours talking about it, about the effects of lying to children and what can lead to, you know, future development of them. <laughs> good job, That's, that one's a good job. <sighs> well, I'm gonna be ending the stream here. We did good. We did good. If I do stream tonight, I will be continuing from above this point and uh, finishing the DLC. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the talk. Goodbye.